sand down puck. After almost six weeks of being deprived of the sport of kings, punters, bookies, jockeys and everyone connected with horse racing were back in business. The foot and mouth epidemic had brought racing to a full stop. But now there were extra large fields to herald the grand resumption of the turf calendar. The tote was kept busy by anxious punters who for weeks had been denied a flutter. But studying form was a tricky business. Jockeys and their mounts hadn't had an outing for quite a while. For many, it was back to finding form with a pip. But it didn't really matter. The sport was the thing as the runners and riders got back into the swing of national hunt racing. For millions of Britain's big and small punters, the thrill of racing was theirs again.